It's so cold. So how are you? I have not made a video for you in a very long time. I am really sorry about that. Um, work has been really stressful recently, but um, it's been going really well. We just did a really big cascade order, um, so I've got lots of cool stuff. And thanks to you, I have some really nice um, yarn samples or shop samples um, because of all those pretty things you made before you left for college. So thank you in a belated advance. Way a long time ago, um, I went ahead and accepted your challenge of relearning how to solve a Rubik's Cube, only I never really forgot. Um, I borrowed one from a friend and figured out how to resolve it pretty quickly. Um, I remember most of it. So what I did instead was I went to Barnes & Noble and bought myself a 4x4 Rubik's Cube and learned how to solve that. So I will show you that in a moment. Um, and then, because it was a 4x4, I was able to use it like a 2x2, so I also sat down and learned how to solve a 2x2 Rubik's Cube as well. Um, it wasn't that difficult. Um, the 2x2 two is definitely one of the easier ones to solve, um, and it just so happened that the way that I'd mixed it solved it really quickly, and I had I was able to skip it like an entire extra few steps. <laughs> so... Um, but those will be popping up in a moment as evidence, and that was back when we had Greenwood Fiberworks as a trunk show. Um, so that was like a good month ago. <laughs> I just never finished. So sorry. <laughs>
I have been racking my brain about what to challenge you to do, and I know I just saw you at the Halloween party, which was awesome, by the way, but, um, yeah, I don't know what the heck to challenge you with. I'm trying to think of things that we used to do as kids or things you used to do as a kid um, that you might have forgotten how to do. I'm coming up pretty blank, especially for things that you could do while in college. Um, I was going to challenge you initially to relearn how to spin, because I know you haven't um, spun on your wheel in quite a while, but you don't have a spinning wheel up there, and there's no way it would fit in your dorm room. There's no way you have time to sit down and relearn something like that in between classes, because I know you're busy. So I thought instead I would challenge you to do something um, that, um, I had talked to you about on Halloween, which was, um, I think it was to stand on your hands. Um, but I also like the, um, challenge that you suggested yourself of relearning how to do like a backward somersault. Um, but again, you've broken your hand. So now I'm stuck again thinking, okay, what do I give you to do that isn't going to take up a lot of room or time since you're lacking on both of those, as am I? <laughs> um, and what can you relearn that's not going to, like, destroy your hand? Got it. We used to do origami with Dad when we were little, and we'd make those balloons that would pop out once you were, like, puffed into them. Um... I think you should relearn how to make those. I don't even remember how to do those. Um, but yeah, um, that's what I challenge you to do. I challenge you to relearn how to make a um, origami balloon and how to make a um, paper crane because paper cranes. I'm such a boring person. So I'm thinking of trying out um, NaNoWriMo. Uh, it's six days in, and I haven't written a word of anything, but uh, I'm thinking it will be maybe fun to try. Um, I haven't attempted it in years, mostly because I can't write worth crap, but it might be worth trying. I mean, it will be fun. Um, Lisa Coughlin, by the way, is doing it. Um, so you should totally find her on there and add her as a friend because I know you're definitely doing it and I know she'd like some um, friends on there. Her story is going to be about Sasquatches, I think. Um, I read the synopsis. It sounds great. So I can't wait to read some of them. I got asked out. Um, we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was nice to get asked out. So we'll, we'll just see. Um, it might become something, it might not. Mm, I don't know. Um, we're apparently going to go see a movie later this week. Um, so that'll be fun and interesting. Speaking of movies, um, we went and saw John Wick, and it was very good. Um, the entire premise of the story is man is lonely, gets puppy, puppy gets killed, man goes on crazy rampage to destroy anyone who ever comes in between him and the guy that killed his puppy. That is literally it. Um, there's a little bit more plot to it than that, but when you just scrub it down to the bare bones of it, it's man goes on murderous uh, vengeance rampage to avenge his dog. That is it. It is everything you would ever want in an action movie. Just lots of gunfights, lots of fighting. It was awesome. It was great. Biggest installment of the month, probably, other than the big yarn orders that I've done. Um, I'm getting a car on Sunday. Um, Claire from the shop is selling her Toyota Camry, and I made her an offer after taking it for a test run and getting a mechanic to look at it. And um, she accepted it, and so we're going to trade around money versus paperwork tomorrow. Not tomorrow, Sunday. Um, and I will get car keys, and then I will go get it registered and get insurance. And then I can come visit you all the time. And by all the time, I mean probably never, because gas. <laughs> but um, at least I'll have a car, and when you're home, you know, you can borrow it, or, um, you know, we can go for drives and things. So that'll be nice. Um, 
Yeah. A little while back, um, I had to go and get a bunch of office supplies. I had to go get, like, two reams of paper. Um, I had to get um, a heater for the office for Liz because it's cold in there. I had to get another lamp. I had to get... There was something else. Light bulbs. And there was something else I had to get for the shops. It was, like, all this grown-up stuff. And I'm going around Fred Meyer after a long day at work. I'm really having to watch my words so I'm not swearing everywhere. Natalie is a terrible influence on me. Um, where was I? Right, all this grown-up stuff. And I'm walking around Fred Meyer just hating my life. So I decided, um, as I was passing the kids section, you know when you're little and they have those big crates and they're filled with these huge stuffed toys that are just ridiculously proportioned like they're as big as like a five-year-old so I'm walking past and I see this like lizard thing and I'm like I really want that it's twenty dollars I don't have the money for it but I really want it and long story short this is my new friend so as you can see he is la 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 he is super long. In fact, he's so long, he doesn't fit within the camera. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Will you ever forgive me for being such a terrible human being? Mm. Mm. Speaking of non sequiturs, Keone started recording this really cool show that's just running for a week on Cartoon Network. It's 10 episodes. It's like a mini series, like a mini mini series, because each episode's only 15 minutes long. But it has Elijah Wood in it. Um, John Cleese has had a cameo appearance. Um, some other big name um, people have starred in it, or co starred, or um, been guests on it. But it's a cartoon. And it's called um, Over the Garden Wall. The whole story is just really interesting and pretty thoughtful and definitely really creepy for a kid's cartoon. Um, but it's, it's really interesting and the style of it makes me feel nostalgic for something that I don't really remember. Um, something about it just makes me um, think of... Um, of childhood and um, watching these movies um, and it's this art style that I just can't quite place um, it feels a bit like The Last Unicorn it feels a bit like um, Miyazaki's stuff um, I really just can't quite place it but it's really really good um, and you should definitely check it out if you have time I mean they're only 15 minutes long alright well um I think I've taken up enough of your time for tonight, um, today, whatever hour you're watching this. Um, hopefully you'll get back to me quicker than I did to you, um, and then uh, we can kind of maybe play off of each other some more um, as far as NaNoWriMo goes. Um, maybe we can keep giving each other challenges like we talked about. Um, just something. Something. I just miss you. Um, it's kind of nice catching up on little dumb things that have happened, like my giant plush toy, which now that I have one, I just really want a bunch. I almost got this huge centipede that was literally 20 feet long and hanging from the ceiling. I really wanted to get it, but I, I didn't because I have a small, a very small... Uh, modicum of self-control and it was all expended in that one moment so um, I broke down and bought the iguana which is considerably smaller so um, yeah I hope uh, you're doing good and um, I will probably